So every month we spend as little as $100 to buy essentials for our low waste household. The first month we had for the kitchen, the second month we had for our out and about or on the go essentials. And in today's video, we want to talk with you about some bathroom essentials for a low waste household. Since there are so many products that we use daily for our self care, I decided to split all those products in two. So as I mentioned already, we're going to talk today with you about uh, bathroom essentials. And next month, we're going to talk about some self-care essentials as well. I encourage you to watch this video till the very last minute because I'm going to announce some uh, fun giveaway for this project that we decided to encourage others to join our challenge. Over 40% of plastic comes from product packaging. 8 million tons of plastic end up in the ocean every year. By 2050, there will be more plastic in the sea than fish. Only 9% of all plastic ever made has been recycled. Every person on Earth consumes 40,000 microplastics each year. When looking at these numbers and going through some bathroom essentials, I figure out that there are a lot of things that we are using in plastic in our bathroom. So today I want to share with you some low-waste, plastic-free essentials for your bathroom that are not going to break your bank. So the first essential is going to be something very common, but I still think it's very worth it to mention, is bamboo toothbrush. I want to start with mind-blowing facts that I really hope I'm gonna convince you next time to purchase uh, something more eco-friendly. 4.7 billion plastic tube brushes are dumped in landfill yearly. Just think about this number, 4.7 billion of plastic toothbrushes. Unfortunately, most of the plastic toothbrushes are not recyclable. Bamboo toothbrush could be your first and right step to reduce your waste and help the environment, while getting the same great results you would with a traditional plastic brush. At the beginning, yes, it does take some time to get used to the feeling of the brush, just because the material is slightly different, but I think it's a matter of just like maybe a week or two. If you're not ready for this is kind of a drastic, not really drastic, but maybe for some people is a drastic change, or maybe you tried the bamboo brush and you didn't like it. I want to share with you the product that I've been using already for um, maybe two and a half years. I found this amazing uh, company that is called Radios, and I think they've been in the market for a long time, from like 80s or something. Their toothbrushes are made in the US, and the cool part of this a toothbrush is that the handle stays always with you. The only one thing you change is the top part with the bristles. What I really like about that brush is that it's pretty wide. It's wider than a regular one and it gives you really nice massage to your gums so it prevents from gum diseases. So yes, with the Radius toothbrush you're not going zero waste, but you're definitely going low waste, which is much better than go with a regular plastic made toothbrush. Next product worth mentioning is biodegradable floss. Unfortunately, most of uh, off-the-counter floss are packaged with plastic and they're actually made with plastic and their ingredient list is not the best, not the cleanest. You can reduce the amount of waste of the planet with a 100% composable silk floss. After using your floss, you can easily just throw it away into your compost bin and be sure that you're keeping Mother Earth healthy and leaving a mark for the future generation. One of the products for your mouth hygiene is going to be natural. Uh, toothpaste that's called David's and it's made in California and this company is great if you are trying to stick to sustainable living. So the tube is actually made with metal. Uh, unfortunately, they still have this cap that is made of plastic, but still it's uh, the metal tube is much better to the environment, though you need to know how to recycle it properly. And so far is the best uh, toothpaste, natural toothpaste we've tried and uh, I really like the taste. It leaves your mouth really fresh and it cleans very well. 
and I really like to support some companies that are willing to uh, help our environment out and to drag our attention to the environmental problem. Another product I wanted to mention is cotton buds. Unfortunately, most of the over-the-counter cotton buds are made of plastic which is not recyclable. And when you have this alternative as a bamboo buds that are biodegradable, it's not uh, bad for the environment and it's pretty much the same thing that you would use. Another product I wanted to mention is a razor. Unfortunately, single-use razors are not recyclable. So if you are using your razor on a daily or regular basis, then you definitely need to look into a reusable one. So uh, before I used to use my husband's razor, but of course I want to get mine and I purchased on Amazon this uh, biodegradable, stainless steel, bamboo, la la la, whatever razor, but it didn't work out for me. It just simply didn't shave right. It didn't shave. Like I, I had to slide maybe 10 or 15 times that I can see some results. So of course, I don't want to recommend you something that is not worth it to invest and probably just gonna dump in it. So if you have any great brands for uh, reusable razors, please let me know down below in the comments. Another really cool thing I tried and I didn't expect the result it actually gave me. So that is um, shampoo and conditioner bars. I always doubt if that thing actually worked and I was surprised. Look at my hair, I just washed them with this bar and I think it looks pretty clean. It's actually same thing it's just you know using plastic which is great ethic is the world's first zero waste and most sustainable lifestyle beauty brand they use biodegradable ingredients and composable packaging so all of their solid bars leave no trace today they have saved our planet from over 5 million plastic bottles each year 20 percent of the profit of the company goes to the charities that are trying to protect our planet and I really feel really uh, proud to support and um, give my money to the company like this, that they are doing something really good for our planet. Another option, if you are not quite ready to start this drastic change with going completely zero waste, even though I mentioned that I really like that, there is this company that is uh, founded by a famous blogger Mimi Icon and they have a really great shampoos and conditioner and hair mask that is called um, Love Hair. I actually use it for my daughter. So their bottles are actually also from plastic, but the plastic source that they're using is cane sugar. So it's recyclable and um, Yes, it's not the perfect um, solution maybe for zero waste, but it's much better just um, than over-the-counter shampoos. Last but not least essential for your bathroom, I would like to suggest are some essential oils. So here I'm gonna just mention some essential oils that work out for me and for my household. You are welcome to purchase any other. So uh, personally, I really like a peppermint essential oil for my mouthwash. What I do, I just take some water, I um, uh, put some drops of the peppermint essential oil and it's a perfect mouthwash. I have to be honest, my bathroom is still not zero waste. That's the point of a year-round challenge. I'm little by little, step by steps, I'm getting in there. So you're gonna see a lot of plastic products, obviously, in my bathroom just because I recently started this journey. And it's totally okay to use your products that are uh, packaged with uh, plastic bottles or plastic containers. As long as you take out of it everything, it's all fine. The most insustainable, non-eco-friendly way of uh, dealing with your old products is just uh, dump them in the landfill. So what I suggest is um, use all your products that you already have till 
and then switch to eco-friendly things uh, with that are packaged with non-plastic. So for example, I've got here this floss that is eco-friendly and as you can see, I didn't open it yet just because I still have the one packaged with plastic. So I'm not gonna open this one until this one is finished. It just doesn't make sense. Um, to the lifestyle I'm trying to uh, take my household. And now giveaway time. I really doubt if I should start any giveaways on my YouTube channel, but then I decided if I can help somebody not only by providing some information and share my own experience by actually providing to someone the real product. So the main goal of this giveaway is to give a month's supply of one of the categories each month to a person to start his zero slash low waste journey. So on March 17th, I will announce the winner here on my YouTube channel in my video, as well as on my Instagram account. So the winner will receive the whole set of zero waste, low waste essentials for the bathroom. To enter this giveaway, you need to follow this super easy three steps. Subscribe to Living Wear Any channel and give this video a big thumb up. Step number two, share this video on your favorite social media platform by using the tag 100 low waste challenge. And step number three, leave a comment down below confirming your participation in this challenge, as well as mentioning the social media platform where you shared your post. And yeah, Good luck! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful. And I wish you all good luck in the giveaway and I'll see you next week. Bye! Mm -hmm.